Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about the fourth property that is the distributive property for rational numbers. Now what is this distributive property? So this distributive property is little different than the previous properties. So here we have two different operations happening together that is we have multiplication, we have addition. Now this distributive property of multiplication over addition. So what do we mean by that? This means that if we have three rational numbers a, b and c, then a multiplied by b plus c. So if a multiplied by b plus c is there, so this can be written as a multiplied by b plus a multiplied by c. So this is called the distributive property of multiplication over addition because over addition you are multiplying. So that's why it is multiplication over addition and this relation will hold true for all rational numbers. Similarly, the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction also holds true. That is if you have a into b minus c, this can be written as a into b minus a into c. So this also holds true. Now, does that mean that the multiplication or that the division would also hold true over addition or subtraction? So that will not hold true. So basically, if, if you have a divided by b plus c, so that will not be equal to a divided by b plus a divided by c. So this distributive property, uh, property basically talks about multiplication over addition and multiplication over subtraction. So let us prove the two. So let us first prove distributive property of multiplication over addition. So here again, let us consider three rational numbers. We have considered a as 3 by 8, b as minus 2 by 5 and c as 6 by 7. So these are the three rational numbers. So let us first calculate a into b plus c. So this would be equal to 3 by 8 into b that is minus 2 by 5 plus 6 by 7. So this would be equal to 3 by 8 into minus 14 plus 30 divided by 35. So this would be equal to 3 by 8 into minus 16 divided by 35. So 8 to the 16, so this would be equal to minus 6 by 35. Now let us try to calculate the other hand side that is a into b plus a into c. So let us calculate this value. So this would come out to be 3 by 8 into minus 2 by 5 plus 3 by 8 into 6 by 7. So we get minus 6 by 40 plus 18 by 56. Now when you calculate them further, 3, 6 by 40 can be written as minus 3 by 20. Similarly, 18 by 56 can be written as 9 by 28. So this will come out to be minus 24 by 140 by taking the LCM and this comes out to be minus 6 by 35. So what do we see? The two values are equal. Therefore, we can say that A into B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. So this is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. Now in a similar way, we can also prove the same for distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. So for that again, let us take A is equal to 3 by 8, B is equal to minus 2 by 5 and C is equal to 6 by 7. So here A into B minus C, this can be written as 3 by 8 into minus 2 by 5 minus 6 by 7. So this can be written as 3 by 8 into minus 14 minus 30 divided by 35 and this value comes out to be 3 by 8 into minus 44 by 35. So this comes out to be minus 33 by 70. So let us calculate the value of a into b minus a into c. 
So this would be 3 by 8 into minus 2 by 5 minus 3 by 8 into 6 by 7. So this value comes out to be 6 divided by 40 minus 18 divided by 56. So this comes out to be minus 3 divided by 20 because 2 3 is a 6, 2 into 20 is 40. This minus 9 divided by 28 because 2 9 is a 18 and 2 into 28 is 56. So that's how we get this and this comes out to be minus 33 by 70 again. So here also both the sides are equal. So we can say A into B minus C is equal to A into B minus A into C. Now as I said that this distributive property holds true only for multiplication and not for division. So let's try to prove that as well. So here again in a similar way we will take A is equal to 3 by 8, B is equal to minus 2 by 5 and c is equal to 6 by 7. So in this case when we try to calculate a divided by b plus c we get 3 by 8 divided by minus 2 by 5 plus 6 by 7. So how much do we get? We get 3 by 8 divided by minus 16 by 35. So this is equal to 3 by 8 into 35 divided by minus 16. So this comes out to be minus 105 divided by 128. Now in a similar way, I think you will yourself be able to calculate this a divided by b plus a divided by c. So try to do this calculation yourself and the value that you would get would be different from this value and therefore you would be able to prove that a divided by b plus c is not equal to a divided by b plus a divided by c. In fact, to be more precise, this calculation would come out to be something like minus 1 by 2. So just do it yourself for practice and you will see that the two values are not equal. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four-step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.